In the previous video, we created our first form action. We learned that a submit button within a form will invoke the default form action. But a form can have multiple buttons, each with a different action. For our scenario, let's assume our auth form contains a register button in addition to the login button. So button and the text is register. Now we want the login button to invoke the login functionality and the register button to invoke register functionality. To achieve that, we need to use what are called named actions instead of a default action. Let's begin by converting the login functionality into a named action. First, we change default to login in page.server.js. Next, on the form HTML element, we specify the action attribute and set it to the form action name. The syntax is question mark, forward slash, followed by the action name. If we now save the file and head to the browser, clear the cookie, refresh the page, we should see login as well as the register button, enter credentials, click on login, we see the login message and the cookie being set. Our functionality remains intact, but we now have a named form action instead of a default form action. With this in place, let's now tackle the register form action. Now, I don't want to focus too much on the registration logic itself, but rather how you can define and work with multiple named form actions. So I'm going to copy paste the login function and change name to register. The message will now read successfully registered. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. Now the question is, how do we invoke this named form action from our HTML? We can't specify two action attributes on the form tag. So how do we connect register button to the register action? Well, for that, we can rely on the form action attribute that can be specified on a button. Question mark forward slash register. This is the name of our form action. If you now head back to the browser, navigate to slash auth once again, enter credentials, click on register. We see the message successfully registered and the cookie being set. We are able to invoke two different actions from two different buttons within the form. Now it's also possible to invoke an action from a different route. Let me show you an example. I'm going to create a new route called auth modal. So new folder, auth modal. Although this is a route at the moment, let's assume this is a modal pop-up that contains the login form and can be opened from a login menu in the nav bar. Let me create a new page.swelt file. So plus page.swelt. I'm going to copy paste the HTML from auth page.swelt file. If we now head back to the browser, navigate to slash auth modal and try login, we see an error. And this is because the path to the action is incorrect. The correct path is slash auth question mark slash login slash auth question mark slash register. We are trying to access an action within the auth folder. Head back to the browser, navigate to slash auth modal, click on login, and we see the error message. Enter credentials and click on login, and we see the message and the cookie being set. The login functionality is working. Pause the video and make sure register is also working as expected. So if you come across the need to handle multiple actions from within a single form, make use of named form actions.
you can define as many as you want to in plus page.server.js file. To invoke a named action, add a query parameter with the name prefixed by a slash character as the value to the action attribute on the form element or the form action attribute on a button element. You can also call actions from across routes by prefixing the right path. All right, that is about named form actions and invoking form actions across routes. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.